Hi, Barbara. How are you doing today? Hi, Victoria. I'm keeping very well. How are you? Good. I haven't played a harp with you this week, but I'm very happy to uh, chat with you about your tool that you're going to share with our audience. So you are an adult harp learner yourself, and you're also the creator of this 90 day practice journal designed for harp, which you're going to share with us. So tell us why 90 days and how is this journal going to help our harpists in their journey of learning? Firstly, thank you for inviting me to come on, Victoria. Happy to have you. No problem. Uh, so yes, uh, I created the 90 day practice journal for harpists and I specifically chose 90 days because well, you can start it at any time of the year. You don't have to start new year or back to school, anything like that. Um, and it's probably a shorter time period. So it's maybe not too overwhelming either. You can kind of commit to the next 90 days. It's not a whole year. Um, I think it's more attractive for adult learners as well because we do have other things going on in our lives as well as a hobby. I agree because I it's it's hard for me to even think about where I am going to be harp wise like you know half a year down the road so I think a 90 day period is a very good uh, time frame to work with. Yes. So what's inside this journal and how do we use it? Yes so I think some harpists have seen the book but they maybe don't know what's inside uh, and we just it would be nice to get a little flip through. Um, it's available on Amazon and on the website you can see the first couple of sample pages that may help as well. So um, yes, so the book is, it's 150 pages, you can see the thickness there, uh, it's A5 and there's three sections really. There's a journal at the start with specific headings to help you on your journey. Then there's the 90 day practice planner where you can log what you did over 90 night practice sessions and you can also plan ahead what you want to do on specific days. Uh, and then at the back, there's really a blank notebook for you to create it as your own. There's line pages, dot grids, blank lists, some manuscript paper and actual blank pages. And you can note to suit your needs with your harp journey. So I really created this to keep all of my harp notes in one place, not just the practice. You can do that, but other things as well. Uh, maintaining your harp, keeping a note of what strings you have. Um, those lessons learned, maybe something you've been told in a lesson that you need to remember. Um, sheet music you want to learn, maybe you're fo focusing on one song at the moment, but you want to take a note of other sheet music you want to buy. It's all in one place and it's just a lovely little companion then on your music stand. So yes, we'll maybe go straight to the practice planner first then. Yeah. So it's section two. Um, there's an example page well, there's a little bit of handwriting and it's just really an example of it filled in but then when you go to page one you can start filling in yourself so you can add the date there's no no set dates on this so you can start this anytime and you don't need to practice a certain amount each week you don't you could do use this over 90 consecutive days but you can also just note the next 90 practice jams as and when you do practice. Uh, you can take a note of what you need to focus on that day, the songs practice, the metronome speed, maybe starting quite slow when you first learn a piece and you can see that gradually increase and the duration of time spent on those pieces. Any technical exercises that you did during the practice and also this is maybe a little reminder to do the technical exercises as well as the pieces. Um, and you can plan then what you want to do in your next session so maybe you've been practicing and your practice was maybe cut short and there was something you didn't get to work on that day that you can know next time I need to start with that first. Um, and I suppose there's a little bit of accountability. Um, and practice can be quite lonely. So this is probably something to uh, cheer us along. <laughs> it is. And Angela have actually started also entering what um, come out of her lesson. And, and that kind of acts as the lead in to what she's going to practice in the journal. So she just made some lessons note in the same page and then that becomes what she's going to practice on the next couple of days kind of thing. Yeah, it's a lovely reminder. Yeah. So yeah, the first section then is the journal. So it's, it's really the other areas of harping as well as practice. So there's a brainstorm at the start if you want to get all your ideas out of what you want to, you could do over the next 90 days. And then you can maybe pick the five or six that were most important or will get the most reward. And then you can narrow that down to a goal or a to do. 
then there's songs you want to learn um little notes about your progress how you're going to treat yourself when you hit a milestone there's a little metronome challenge you can set your own unique challenge um a little bit about heart maintenance so if you want to plan any services or if you want to take note of any buzzes or any problems with the pedals or the levers it's all there for you all in one place and then all things strings so you can take a little note of strings you need to buy maybe strings you have in your heart bag already um maybe maybe you're planning to buy a full set all that can all be captured there and then aha moments then all your little lessons learned maybe it's something from a conversation with a friend or from your music lessons or maybe from performing maybe someone's gave you a compliment while you were in, out and about and you can capture that and keep all of that all in one place um, and then yes really at the back then there's some uh, line pages blank lists manuscript paper yeah. and which is always useful because we can yeah. just make it yeah. into whatever you needed yeah so yeah there's things there for all applicable to all harpists and then you can create your own whether you have your own youtube channel you want to plan or maybe you play professionally maybe there's uh hymns you need to learn for church all of that you can make it unique then at the back yeah i really like the idea of having a, a compact little book that tracks everything that we're doing with the harp so this will be the right tool for you if you are looking for like you said a companion that just keep you keep in your music stands and you can access all your uh, information at your fingertip that's fantastic yeah. and again this uh, journal is available through amazon and you can actually order it uh, through the various different uh, amazon site and i'm going to put the product code right here on the screens and also in the video description so you can look it up and thank you very much for sharing this journal with us and happy practicing <laughs> thank you, Victoria, and thank you, Javier and Angela, also for having me on the channel. Lovely to have you. Talk again soon. Thank you.